Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to use dual charts in the Webull app. So in Webull, you can compare a couple of stock charts and get some important information from them. So I'll go through everything here. If you wanna follow along, you haven't got Webull already, check out my link in the description. If you deposit $100 when you sign up, Webull will give you a free stock. So definitely worth checking out. But let's get into how to use dual charts. So let's get into the Webull application and open it up. And when you do, it's gonna take you through to the watch list page most of the time. But to use dual charts, we're gonna to have to select one stock and then go into the stock page. So let's just click on Apple as an example. And we have the Apple stock page right here. And one of the options down in the bottom right hand corner is to use dual charts. So let's click on this more tab and some options will come up right here. We can click on dual charts right now and it will take us through to this screen where we have to choose another stock to compare with Apple. Apple will be the main stock because that's the stock page that we went through, but you can search for other stocks as well. So maybe I'll compare it to Microsoft. You can either put the ticket in or the company itself and search for it. Then you just simply press on the stock itself and it will bring that stock onto the bottom and Apple the main stock on the top. In the dual charts feature, it's basically a very quick way to just see the history over the last maybe month or so. You can actually change this right now. I'm on the five day chart. If I come down and click on this option, it will give me a bunch of different ranges that I can look at. Maybe I want the three month chart, so it will load that. Something really cool though on dual charts, one of the main features I use it for is just simply looking at the news events by each stock. So you can see Apple has three news events, Microsoft has two. You can actually click on these and it comes up with some really great information. So E is earnings and it will just give you Apple's earnings. You can also see Microsoft's earnings down here by clicking on that. D is dividend, so it will tell you when the stock went X dividend. You can compare that really easily. And then S for example is a stock split, Apple just did one. Also really important is you can see the volume in the stocks down at the bottom. So you can just very quickly compare that. Something else you can do is change the type of chart. So right now we're on line charts, but if I click on this in the middle, you can click to an area chart or a baseline chart. There are a few different options and you can see which one you like the most. Candlestick is also very popular so you can see how they've traded. Let's move back to the line chart though. And the one day in the bottom right hand corner you can see this is the interval between stock price movements. So because I've chosen the three month chart here, it will automatically go to one day stock price movements. If I come back to the left hand side and maybe choose the five day chart, you'll see that the share price movements intervals has changed to five minutes in the bottom right. They work very well together and they work in unison. So if you change the wider range of the charts in terms of how much you see. Then on the right hand side, the intervals will also change automatically, but you can also manually change them yourself to whatever you want. The easiest way to change one of the stocks, let's say I want to compare Nvidia to Apple now, then you can come just left of the name itself, click on that icon and then search for Nvidia. So NVDA and it's right here, click on this one. Then Microsoft will be swapped out and Nvidia will come in to be compared against Apple. That is very simply comparing stocks using the dual charts feature. It's simple but effective. I have some more in-depth tutorials and chart tutorials. I'll put them in the description for you. You can check that out. Also, if you sign up for Webull and deposit 100 bucks, they'll give you a free stock up to $1,400 if you haven't got the app already. That's also in the description, but if the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.